Hi, today I'm just going to talk a bit about modes, uh, the diatonic modes, which are the ones that all come from the major scale. Now, I'm assuming you know a little bit about modes and that you know some of the patterns. So you might have learned a, a Dorian pattern or Dorian scale. Um, you might have learned a Mixolydian, a Phrygian. So if, you've, if, you've learned, if you know some of those, then this will make more sense to you than if you've never heard of them. Um, I'll do another lesson for people that have never heard of modes to explain what they are. Anyway, this one is just... Um, to demonstrate really one of the things that's quite good about them. Now what I was just doing in that intro was I was playing over a backing track which is just some chords in the key of C major. Now the, the sequence I was playing started on a kind of a D minor, it was like a D minor 9. So the thing at the beginning felt like it was more in D minor even though it's actually in C major. All of the chords came from the key of C major and it sort of resolved on C major. But I was playing as though I was in D minor to begin with because that kind of felt more right because of the first chord being D minor. So what I was using was a D Dorian. A D Dorian is just the C major scale, but starting on a D. So if I play a C major scale, and then I'll play that again, but I'll start on the D, which is the second note. And that, one I just played then was called the D Dorian and what you can then do is, is learn that in its own sort of position rather than playing it in the same place as a C major you could play it here so it feels more like a D scale so obviously that means learning a new scale pattern but those two things are identical I'll just play them both again So that really demonstrates uh, one of the things that's useful about modes, the things I'm, I'm trying to show you today, because I can play the same notes here and here, so I'm getting into a slightly different area of the neck. Now it's not vastly different because it's only you know, two frets or so along, two or three frets along, but the, the point is that this scale here, for me anyway, that's nicer to play than this one. If I want to solo with it, this one lends itself to soloing and improvising more than that one does. And you may already know that the major scale, standard major scale pattern, like a C major, it's not great for soloing really. Whereas the minor scale and, and pentatonic scales and things seem to be nicer to solo with. So this one here, this Dorian, it's a bit more like a natural minor scale or a pentatonic sort of minor or blues. It's in the same sort of position that you would play one of those in. And it's actually only one note different from a, a natural minor scale. Now, we'll get into that on a separate video. So what I was doing was playing C major scale here, but also playing D Dorian here. And they're the same thing, so they sound the same. They're the same notes. They just feel different to play, and that's the key thing, is how it feels to play, and it will make you play things in a different way and phrase things differently because of how your fingers land on the same notes that they were playing here. They'll land on them differently, like different fingers will be playing the notes here. For example, if I do this, I'll do that in this position. Completely different to play, even though it's the same notes, it's totally different fingering. So it will feel different to play, might be nicer to play or worse to play. So you play different things, and if you make little mistakes, which can often be really good, mistakes can lead to some nice sounding things that you weren't expecting. Uh, the mistakes you make in this position will be different to the ones that you make in that position. So that was just a, a quick example D Dorian played here rather than in the C major position here. It's going to give you a slightly different sound even though it's the same notes. But then I could take any of the other modes that come from the C major scale. So D Dorian is the second mode of C major. I can take any other mode that is, is a mode of C major. So for example, G Mixolydian, which I might learn initially like this. Hopefully you know some of these already. That's a standard G Mixolydian pattern. Well, that's completely different to, in a completely different place to these two that I was just doing. 
so I could jump down there as well. So I could be soloing with a D or in here. A bit of C major. And a bit of G mixolydian. And they, they feel very different to play, even though they're essentially the same notes. In this particular example, this key that we're looking at, the notes are just all the natural notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So that's all that I'm playing for this. Unless I accidentally go outside of the scale a little bit, sort of by mistake then, which might have happened a couple of times in that intro. Um, so C major scale, D Dorian, G mixolydian, they're all the same notes, but they feel very different to play. And that's the whole point of, of this video really, is just to show that that's one reason why the modes are worth knowing. There are a few others as well, which I'll look at on a separate video. But uh, yeah, just today I just wanted to demonstrate that. So you can be in a particular key and you could be thinking C major, or you could be thinking D Dorian, whichever feels more appropriate, or G Mixolydian or any of the others. But once you've decided, you can then dip in and out of all of them. And the whole point in a nutshell of this is that you can be playing over the whole fingerboard in one key without learning lots of new scale patterns. You're just using the modes as long as you know which ones to use. So in C major, I could use uh, the F Lydian, for example. I could use the G Mix Lydian, I could use the D Dorian. You can use any of these modes that come from C. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Please put any uh, questions or comments in the comment section and click like if you like this this lesson and please subscribe if you haven't already okay thanks